Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, I'm going to be talking to you about some of the most overpriced, worst value players in FIFA 23. Are you fed up of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want that God squad that you've always dreamed of? Check out MMO EXP and use code ZEL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out the link below. MMO EXP, the best place to buy coins. Now, a series I do regularly, update every few weeks, at least once a month on the channel, is the best value meta players currently on the game. One thing I don't do a lot, but I have did a video recently where I looked at best and bad value players that seem too popular, was talk about some of the worst value players in the game. Now, for this... Pretty much all of these players in this video are actually pretty good. So being good though and having good stats doesn't mean that a card is good value. So we will be talking about players that a lot of people might even like, might have, and you might disagree. But I will give the reasoning for all of them. So, Smilarek. 450-500k for this one. All of these players are pretty expensive, hence bad value. Some very good stats on this card. But the problem with Smilarek is he's 500k. He's three star skill moves, which is really bad for an attacker. He's got no relevant chemistry links. And yes, he's a good card, but three star, four star is really not that great for an attacker. His passing is not great. Don't get wrong, some stats are really good, but he's just not a good enough card for no chemistry, basically. Because the way this chemistry system works, having a card that, yeah, he'll get on chem himself, but not contributing to anyone else is really bad. Renato Sanchez, like 600k now. Was a very, very good card after he got his World Cup upgrade. Portugal winning the game. He is still good. But when you compare him to some of the other cards in the game. Like if you compare him to Verratti. Verratti's got insanely better passing. Better defending. Much better on the ball. Five star weak foot. Similar pace. Like Verratti's a lot better. And Verratti, Italian. Just about as good as the Portuguese. Maybe even better because Donnarumma's link. This Sanchez compared to other midfielders. In the similar price range is way overpriced. Cap de Villa, for a long time was pretty reasonable value. Then it just seemed in the space of a couple of weeks he just shot up crazy in value. I got him untradeable. This is a loan apparently, but I do have him actual version of him untradeable on my account. Really good card, but he's like 800k, maybe 750, 800k. Mendy's winter wild card, which I still think is expensive, but definitely better than this card is the same price arguably better links because he's real madrid this captivia whilst being good for a fullback is horrendously overpriced i couldn't justify paying nearly a million coins for a three star weak foot fullback who's not very good on the ball not the best physical like he's good but just stupidly priced harlan's one to watch probably will get another grade or two at some point but very clunky at this point in the game not as quick as some of the other cards not very good at passing and free star free star for a card that is going for nearly a million coins also not the easiest to link with the norwegian chem van der Sar. beast but with the way icon chemistry is really not being that valuable this year compared to previous years the only real value he has is probably linking van dyke in he's a million coins a million coins that for a card that's probably going to make your chemistry harder and just it's a keeper at the end of the day stupidly expensive roberto carlos 1.2 million coins for this card with a shadow he looks very very good but he's a bit clunky his passing's not as good as it should be his physicals whilst good aren't great he's five six i don't get like i say a lot of the icons as well you have to look and think about the chemistry i don't get why anyone would pay over a million coins for this card Kante. Similar price to Carlos. Kante has 80 pace. 80 pace, 2 star, 3 star. Small, not the best on the ball. Poor strength, good but not great passing. Ridiculously expensive. You're basically paying here for the Kante FIFA's old. By that I mean Kante is a popular player on previous FIFA's. So people really want to have a good version of him. But that one's just not that good anyway. Stupidly priced. Enzo Fernandez, another Chelsea midfielder, 1.3 mil. Some very good stats, but no four-star skills. Um, and when you compare him to a lot of other midfielders, who are probably about, like, don't wrong, he's a very good midfielder. But when you compare him to a lot of other midfielders, who, in terms of comparison, they are probably much better value. Like, some of them are probably two, three times cheaper. Nemanja Vidic, I actually own him. I need to sell him. 
He is 1.4 million now. Very, very good. But that is a similar price to Militao, who's miles better. This Van, uh, Van Dijk. Vidic is very good. He's like a slightly worse team of the year, Van Dijk, to be honest. But awful for chemistry being an icon who's Serbian. Doesn't really offer anything there. Stupidly priced. I need to sell him. Salah, 1.4 million for a freestyle weak foot. Not very good. Um, okay, Link's being Prem Liverpool, but Egypt's not very good. Shot's good, but not insane. Okay, physical, but not great. Good passing, but not great. Freestyle weak foot, really expensive, and he can only play right wing, so not the easiest for Kem. Messi, 1.5 million. Obviously, got some crazy technical stats, but a card that slow and bad physical at this point, who's not got a five star in attack, is just stupidly priced. Musiala. Now, his dribbling is cracked, but going forward, he's not got a great shot. He's not going to be the fastest. Five star, four star is nice, but he's poor physical. Like, He's not really an elite attacker or an elite midfielder when you look at the stats. So, yeah, his chem's not going to be too bad. But for 1.6 million, I think Musiala's a joke. Good Muller, 1.8 mil. No five-star. Um, bad passing. Pretty bad physical. Not going to be super, super fast because he's not going to get 99 sprint with a sh uh, shadow. We will not with a shadow or a hunter. Lucio. Probably in the top five centre-backs in the game. But unless you were trying to fit Jude Bellingham in, because that's the only type of card you're probably going to be trying to fit in at the price range that Lucio costs. He doesn't really offer a lot for chemistry being double Bundesliga. He's quite a bit slower than a lot of the top centre-backs now. Don't wrong, his defending physical's great. If he had 90 pace, I could maybe justify the card a bit more. But a lot of the top centre-backs now have a lot more pace. Is Lucio still a top five centre-back again? Yes, I would say so. But he's over 2 million coins. That is a lot of coins for a centre-back. That's probably soon going to fall off. Hakimi. 2.4 million coins for a full-back. If the full-back had other positions, okay, I could get it a bit more. This Hakimi is insane and one of the best right-backs we've probably ever seen on FIFA. But it is a right-back. Over 2 million coins for a card that's going to be stuck at full-back. Ludicrous price. Vinny Jr., this card is a million more than his path to glory that is almost identical. Sometimes cards are bad value purely on, based on the other cards available or literally the other versions of them available. Don't wrong, Vinny Jr., very, very good, one of the elite attackers on this game. But this card's like 3 million coins. He's got a good shot, but not insane. The passing's a bit meh. Physical's not great. And when you can get his path to glory, that's basically the same card for a million less. That's ridiculous. Yaya Torre, nearly 3 million coins. I don't even have Yaya Torre probably in the top 10 midfielders in the game now. You're paying for the name. The double prem chemistry is very nice, but the nation's not going to get you very far. Is he a good meta card on the game? Sure. Will Yaya be a beast later in if he has another card? Probably assume they give him high pace and much better on the ball. He'll be one of the best in the game. But I don't even think this Yaya Torre is that special, and he's one of the most expensive midfielders in the game. Neymar, 3 million for this card. Great card. Neymar's always great. But he's in form. That's maybe one or two worse on most stats. He's three times cheaper. He's in form's about 950k. This is three mil. Pretty simple why this one's bad value. Ibra. Really nice. Pretty unique card on the game. But for three and a half mil. Where there is some stat weakness as well. Just stupid price. I want to use him but just can't justify it. Beckham. Great midfielder. But he's over a million more than the next... Uh, cheapest team of the year midfielder he's a beast and it's nice to see him get the chem with center mid four star four star rapid this beckham will be insane but four and a half million for him is just ridiculous and Bappe, nearly seven million coins for this card he's got over 93 purple that's nearly half the price of this card um his team of the year is like 13 mil like they're both th that and this card just stupid prices he'll be one of the best players in the game but seven mil nearly for this and then the last one on the video is Team of the Year, Ronaldinho. Amazing card. Absolutely amazing. But when I just looked, he was going for 15 million, basically the coin cap, I think, on FIFA. Just get the Prime Dino if you're that bothered. He will not play really any different in game. I think clearly a lot of these cards, especially the future stars, where we'll see a lot of bad value from cards that normally historically aren't, I think a lot of it is that the pack weight this year is really low. I think EA have 
overdone it in terms of making the pack weight really bad because it's cross console and that's messed the market up made it really hard to attain some of these top tier cards um i wish that i didn't even have to do videos like this but it's the way it is unfortunate i appreciate you guys watching this video hope you enjoyed it as always keep it spicy i'll see you guys in the next one peace